minute, Shan and Sophie are on the bus. <laughs> We've been to Ryan Haley's wedding and Claire, crazy Claire, um, decided to tell everyone that we were lesbians. If anything could have happened whilst those two were in charge, because they weren't looking after the kids. They were snogging the face off each other. So we've run away anyway because we want to be together and we know that if we want to be together we can't be together in Weatherfield because my mum won't let us. So. Where are you? I don't know where I am. Can you just stop mum and dad me please? Uh, no, no, S Sophie, you have to come home now. Do you hear me? You have to come home. While we're on the run, we, we get on but we stay at um, like a student house and the guy that we stay with kind of tries it on with Sophie and she don't really like it and wants to go home. Whoa! What are you doing? Doing what you've wanted since you first arrived. <laughs> Better things for us to be doing than washing. So she kind of rings home and tells Rosie to come and get her. But she doesn't tell Shan that she's rang home and then she turns up and gets us and Shan's not happy. So I'm not ready to go just yet. Shan, no! Look! We have got to go home. Come home. We need to open the side because I'm parked in single yellows outside. Shan's kind of breaking it because she knows what her dad's like and she knows that I don't that he's not gonna take it that well. So she's just a bit scared and a bit like put out at the minute. She just don't know what to expect. <gasps> Sophie! Oh <laughs> Sally is so relieved when she gets the girls back. It's just an amazing moment because she's really, really worried that because of how Sally might react, that that's why they've gone, and therefore to have them back is just absolutely fantastic. Never do anything like that ever again. Oh, oh come here, I promise. Oh. Sally's kind of accepted that they're lesbians, but she's not really comfortable with it. I think Sally's really worried about showing Sophie how she really feels because she doesn't want Sophie to. Uh, you know, leave and, and not have Sally in her life, Sally's got to come to terms with the fact that she's gay. And I think it is very difficult for Sally at the beginning. If I tell her the truth, she's going to run off again and <sighs> pretend it was just killing me. Uh, you can expect quite a lot of ups and downs in the next few months for the Webster family. There's quite a lot going on, which is really exciting and it's great to be involved. There is going to be people that say things and there is going to be a lot of things that happen but in their minds they want to be happy together so that's what's going to happen, we think. <laughs>